that you guys have joined me today. I want to tell you a little bit about the photon wand therapy. And in fact, I'm going to let you guys have a sneak peek at it before I totally tell you more about it. Isn't this totally awesomely cool? So I'm super glad that you guys could join me. And I'd love to know where you are watching from. Today I'm actually coming from, from Austin, Texas live. Have any of you guys ever been to Texas? I'd love to know if you guys have been to Texas. I'd also love to know where you are watching from. So a quick question. Did you know that there is LED technology out there that can help with fine lines, the appearance of wrinkle, and even acne. It's okay if you didn't. I had actually not heard of it until um, <clears throat> a couple of months ago, and I'm gonna check the comments real quick. The way they come in, it's sometimes slower. I love it, Judy's coming in from Florida. Hey, Judy, I love Florida. It's nice and warm. I actually love Disney World. Um, I got Stefan is tuned in from Virginia. Got Melissa, she's new to this, she's in Pennsylvania. It's okay to be new at this. I was new to this too. I didn't know what this was. And half the reason that you might not know what this is, is that um, previously it was kind of reserved for the super wealthy, the rich people, right? Um, and so you might not have heard of it. I hadn't heard of it. I guess that, that lets you know that I'm not super crazy rich, right? Because back then you had to have crazy amounts of money to be able to get your hands on this technology, which is really crazy and kind of sad because it's actually been around for almost 25 years. So even though it may be your first time hearing about it, like it was mine a couple months ago, it's actually been around for quite a while now. And it's called photon light therapy. And I got to be honest, the first time I heard that term, I kind of thought that it sounded like something out of a science fiction book or like a movie, right? I was like, what in the world is photon light therapy? And to be totally honest, I don't know, you can tell me what you thought when you heard that term, but I kind of envisioned that white room, like out of a movie set and like big colored flight lights flashing at you. And I was like, what is photon light therapy? But what it is, is it's that wand. And I kind of showed it to you briefly for a minute. So it's nothing super scary looking. It's not like huge lights. You're not gonna have to have a big room to set it up in. And it's actually really easy to use. So today I'm actually gonna show you how to use it and to be able to help with those fine lines and wrinkles as well as the acne. So, um, hang on a second. All right. So when I was younger, well, I guess even today, I've never really had to worry about acne. I know, don't hate me for it. I've said kids that do deal with acne. But because of that, I wasn't really that interested in my skin. I didn't really care about it. I didn't have anything when I was younger that I had to worry about. I loved being in the sun. I loved going to the beach. I loved being outside. And to me, wrinkles or getting old was something that was going to happen centuries from, from then, right? Well, flash forward, which I guess needless to say, I didn't have a skincare routine. I I didn't even wash off my makeup at night. I just didn't really care. But as I got a little bit older, I started to get some of those wrinkles. I started to get some of those fine lines. And I got to be honest, I started kind of caring about it. I did not want those fine lines and those wrinkles to betray my age. That just was not something that I wanted. <clears throat> so I started looking around for options and I started looking around for alternatives to big scary procedures. I didn't want to have to go under the knife, so to speak. That was not something that I wanted. Don't get me wrong. I, I love that I'm getting older. You know, I know that people say that they're um you know like that award, right? Those those um wrinkles are your award, but I didn't want that. So I wanted something that like I told you, I didn't have a big going into this. So one of my big main concerns was I wanted it to be something that I could do easily that wasn't going to get in the way of everything else I was doing out of my life. I'm a busy mom. I'm, you know, busy with work. I've, I've got these other routines that I'm doing, and the last thing I wanted to worry about was a 20 or 30-minute skincare routine every single day. So 
as you know, just like those wrinkles did not come overnight, they kind of came on gradually or the acne, like with my children, it wasn't like one morning they woke up and they looked like they had the chicken pox. It kind of gradually happened. And that's the same with your skin. You're going to gradually notice some of these changes. And some of them might be so insignificant that you don't notice at first. You take a picture before you start and then take a picture along the way. I take a picture every two weeks just so I can kind of compare side by side and see the little gradual changes. It's like, um, you're looking so awesome, but to me, I don't necessarily notice those. So that's why I take the pictures. And when you take the pictures, make sure that you use the same kind of light because the light will affect your pictures. And I recommend using the same color shirts or whatever because, as you know, some different colors can drain your skin more than others depending on how pale you are or, or tones that you might have. So that being said, I knew that I had to be consistent with my routine if I was going to get results. So what I found that helps me is to actually keep my cleanser, my soap, inside the shower. You can put it inside a container, like a Tupperware container, because if you're like I am, I didn't want the water to hit it and roll it down the drain. So I put it in a Tupperware container and I set it right in. And then when I see it, it jogs my memory that, yes, I'm going to do the skincare routine. And I do that every single day because I don't like to come out, out of the shower and then have to rewash my face. So my two favorite things to wash my face off with are the Dragon's Blood Soap and the Apple Stem Cell Serum Soap. Oh my goodness, you guys, let me know in the comments below if you have a favorite. I go back and forth, so I actually alternate which one I use. Today I used the Apple Stem Cell Serum. It smells so amazing. I wish that Facebook had a way that I could send you the smell. It smells like everything springtime and summer. And you'll notice if you get it, along with the apple stem cell serum, that it can change colors based on when the apples are harvested. Um, but they're always harvested fresh, and they're, they're um, put right into the lab fresh product that has not been sitting on the shelf. So you might notice sometimes it's a little bit darker, sometimes it's a little bit lighter but it always smells absolutely amazing. So that's what I do first, is I make sure that I do this every single day. I get a little bit on my hands and then I massage it gently into my face. And when I climb out of the shower, instead of like going to town and rubbing off my face, I just kind of blot it gently and mostly let it air dry. That's what I like to do. Um, the next thing that I do is every single day, and it's important to do this in addition to just but every single day I use the apple stem cell serum when I get out of the shower and with the apple stem cell serum a little bit goes a long way which I really appreciate and you'll notice that it comes with a dropper and so I put a little bit on my finger and then I put it only where I I need it so like the fine crow's line I put it on my left line I like to put it on and I just use the dropper I like to put it on my forehead, and I actually really appreciate that they gave a dropper, and then I use the wrinkle wand, and I did a video on that that I'll actually put down below if you want to see where I go into a little bit more in depth how I put it on there, because I use the wrinkle wand because I don't like to have it soak into my finger. I want to have it soak into my face where I want it down below so that you can watch that later. Um, <clears throat> the next thing that I do is I use the Dragon's Blood Gel, and this is what I do every single day of the week. And with the Dragon's Blood Gel, it's the same thing, a little bit goes but The difference with this one is I put the whole thing on, and then I put it everywhere. I love it. And I actually just dab it kind of everywhere, and then I put it in. So as you do this, you're going to start to see the effects of the skincare routine taking place. And I absolutely love it. When you guys share your stories and your experience with using the, the Swiss Body products, it, it just makes me happy. Notice that with consistency, you're going to see those changes. And I, I heard back from Michelle the other day, and she said that when she started her skincare routine, she wasn't sure 
what she was going to expect, right? Maybe you guys ever felt like that. I know I did. I told you I wasn't a regular care user when I was younger. And it was like, is this really going to work? Is this not going to really work? Is it, you know, what's it going to feel like? What's it going to be like? And she said that she was afraid when she started out that her expectations were going to be a little bit too high. Or if any of you guys ever felt like that, it's like you want to just poof, wake up and have it magically appear. I know I kind of did. And she said that after she started using Swiss Botany, and I actually loved what she said. She said, that she couldn't identify immediately the exact difference in her face. So she said she used it and then she kind of woke up and she was kind of looking in the mirror and she said that her overall appearance seemed a little bit different, but she couldn't quite put her finger on it. She just knew it was a little bit better than usual. And she said that when she felt her face, it was a lot smoother, like that texture. You know, it just felt nice. And she said that she was dealing with skin and that she had freckles in those fine lines and she noticed that there was a slight difference again she can put her finger on it and this was after only a few few uses then she started to realize that her face actually felt a little bit tighter and she said that she couldn't imagine how just that little bit of tightening was going to improve the overall look on her face and she said she loved how her overall appearance changed just from using it even just a few times. Now, the important thing in developing that routine is to be able to use that routine that you can follow. So whether it's you know doing it right before you climb into bed, whether it's doing it right in the morning, and I actually recommend doing both, make sure that it's something you can follow. I found that at the end of the day, I told you I didn't have a regular skincare routine before, that I sometimes forget to put on the Dragon's Butt and the Apple Stem Cell Serum. And when I'm laying in bed, the last thing I want to do is jump out of bed, go into the bathroom, and do that whole routine. What I really do is, I don't know, is this cheating? I don't think it's cheating. I think it's a great life hack. But I put these right, I have two. I have one in the bathroom, and I have one on the nightstand. So that when I'm laying in bed going, oh, I don't want to get up, all I have to do is reach over and I take them off of the nightstand and I put them on. Because it's important to me and I know that I feel better when I use them. In fact, my husband the other day, I know I should be mad at him, but I'm not. He, I came down and I pulled an all-nighter. I'd been up all night with the kids and doing different projects and I was tired. And I came downstairs and looked at me and he goes, oh, what's wrong? You know, you look horrible. You've got big puffy eyes and everything. And I was like, oh, I hadn't showered yet. And I was like, hang on, give me 10. You're out upstairs, you know, use the apple stem cell serum on my um, bags under my eyes. Use the dragon's blood. I came back down and he's like, yeah, much better. And um, it was kind of fun to me that my husband could tell the difference because he doesn't usually pay attention to things like that. You know, it's like when you get your hair cut, anybody ever had this, you get your hair cut and your husband can't even tell and you've taken off like six inches or your spouse or whatever, or you know, your spouse shaves and you're going, you look a little bit different, right? So that's kind of how I am. So I have a quick question. I'd love to know where my Apple Stem Cell Serum fans and my Dragon Blood fans are because you're actually going to use this with the Photon Wand. Now, the first thing that I want to let you know is that, I guess I'm going to grab it, you're going to want to charge it before you first use it. So when you get the box, don't wait to, use, to, to open it. Open it right up. You can plug this into your computer. You can plug it into your computer. You're going to want to charge it. You cannot use this while it is charging, which is why I'm telling you that now, because otherwise you're going to get up to use it, and you're going to be disappointed because it's not going to be charged. So make sure you charge it first. The second thing that you're going to do is when you go to turn it on, you'll notice. I hope you can see it. hope it's close enough. Let me know if you can see it. The next thing that you're going to do is you're actually going to push and hold the button for three seconds when you start it. I'll notice it's, it's starting up now. Now the cool thing with this is that you can change the settings that you put it on. It has a um, it has a red light setting and a blue light setting. But before we get into that, I want to tell you about how I use it. I only use it once a week, and I actually like to use it on Sunday because Sunday is the day that is just my day. You, you guys have a day that's just kind of yours, and so it's like my weekly in-home spa experience. I don't know if you're like I am, but I don't like going to the spa. 
I know, can I admit that? Because I don't like the time that it takes out of my day. So this is my way to relax, rejuvenate, but not have to go anywhere. So this is my time, and my kids know that, you know, this is mom's time, right? And it only takes 10 minutes. And again, I only use it once a week. You do not need to use it any more than that. Now, how it works is that it works by using something called LED photonic therapy. Again, it's that big crazy word. But the photon light energy that's actually part of this is what's going to increase your blood flow in your collagen and production. And that's going to maybe help you decrease those skin wrinkles. It's going to tighten your skin. It's going to improve your pigmentation. Many of you guys deal with, I do, with different pigmentation on your skin. Helps with fine lines, anti-aging, helps reduce skin grease. And it's going to help improve your energies, which is going to help improve that appearance of the redness of and it's heat free bulbs which was important so in fact it's going on every time I touch it but I'll get to that in a second so that's kind of fun too you're gonna to know it's it's working now you're gonna choose your preferred color setting remember I talked about the red and blue lights so anybody want to know exactly how it works I did it was like what is this how does it work right well, the way it works is that the wand transmits those natural light waves that are going to activate your photoreceptors in your skin. They're going to help to beautify your complexion. That's what has to do with the red light and the blue light. So the red light is great for anti-aging. So it, it's going to help with repairing damage over time that you've got from just being alive on this planet. It can help reduce those crow's feet. It gives you a facial massage to those tissues that's going to restore some of, that, some of that luster. And the blue light is what is amazing for reducing inflammation and those breakouts. So you don't have to here, but if you deal with acne, this is great. The blue light's what I recommend for using with acne. And again, you're only going to use this once a week. The photon one in general actually helps retain your skin moisture. It can speed up metabolism. Who doesn't want to speed up their metabolism, right? It stimulates collagen and elastin, which are, I did not know this until a couple months ago, they were just this weird scientific word, but those are actually proteins that are found in your skin, and they work together to give your skin that texture and its shape. And as I got older, right, I don't want the sagging jowls, right? It helps reduce edema, which is helping with the fluid balance in your body. Sometimes as you get a little bit older, some things that used to work great don't work as well, right? Also, it helps promote blood circulation and lymphatic drainage. And that's what helps fight off infection, and it can help reduce the toxins in the body. So a couple things when you get your wand, because you're going to look at it, you're going to go, wait a second, it's not working, right? I turned it on, but it's not working. The only thing is touching both sides of the metal. So when you when you grasp in your hands, and this metal part has to be touching your skin as well. Now, the way I like to use it, and it's okay if you don't remember, there are great directions that you can follow as you walk through it, but today I'm going to show you on my chin area, what you'll do is you'll actually go in an up and down motion, and it feels a little bit warm. You might feel a little bit tingly on your skin, and you can use it on different areas under the eye to give um, a gentle massage to the cheek area, up to the ear to help with your cheek area. This is wonderful. It feels so good. It kind of wakes up your face. Now, I'm not going to make you watch watch me do it for the whole 10 minutes. That would get a little bit boring, right? But um, I'd already done this before, so I almost forgot to tell you. It works best when your skin is a little bit moist. So I like to use it with the Dragon's Blood so or the Apple Stem Serum. You can use either one. And so I'll use the dragon's blood. And so I put the dragon's blood on where I want it. And then I use this to massage it into my face. Now you'll notice when you're done with that eight to 10 minutes, your skin might actually feel a little bit sticky. And it doesn't normally feel sticky with dragon's blood, right? The reason that it's gonna feel a bit sticky is that that's your body pump 
some of those things in your skin, some of those impurities. And so, and that's especially with the blue light. So if you're using the blue light and you're noticing your skin is sticky, that's okay. It's perfectly normal. That's just your body pulling the impurities out or the one helping you pull those impurities out. And so afterwards you might want to wash it off again with that, that um, dragon's blood soap or the apple cell serum soap. So wonderful. No complaints here when I use this twice in the morning. And you're going to notice that your face feels alive. You might notice that it feels a little bit tighter. It's going to feel good. It's your face saying thank you, right? Again, you don't need to overuse this. Don't go to town on it for 10, 15, or not 10, you can do 10. You know, 15, 20, 30 minutes, don't use it. You know, you don't need to use it every single day, just once a, once a week. Another tip is don't keep it in the bathroom. I like to keep everything in the bathroom, but I don't I actually have this in a drawer in my bedroom because you don't want the moisture to get in it. It will ruin it. So that's a little bit about, about the... Um, the photon wand. I'd love to know any questions that you might have. I'm going to link below where you can get this. The sooner you start using it, the sooner you're going to see results. I want to get this in your hand as fast as possible because it works so well and you're going to feel so great as you notice your skin release some of these impurities and i love seeing people feel more confident tell you that i love you know watching people's appearance change and just feeling better about themselves um i heard from pam a little while ago that she started using swiss botany because she wanted to use something different from her, for her face and she said that she used it day and night for less than two weeks this is with these and now combining, you know, the Photon one that she'll start incorporating as well. And this is brand new. She hasn't even gotten her hand on this yet. And she wrote in just, what is the difference? Have any of you guys ever felt like that? It's like that instant, wow, like when my husband saw me, you know, after putting this on as opposed to and she said that she had a couple of deep wrinkles on her forehead and lines from the bottom sides of her nose, the corners of her mouth, and the lines from her mouth down to the corners. And she said that the stuff was amazing. She just loves doing the skincare routine because it makes her face feel soft. It smooths out some of the wrinkles. And she said that the wrinkles are getting plumped up. They're getting less noticeable. And she said goodbye to procedures. Anybody else want to say goodbye to procedures? I'm scared of procedures. I got to be honest. And she was you know, say goodbye to all those wrinkle fillers because she said in her words that she found her fountain of youth. Anybody else want to find their fountain of youth? Go ahead. This is going to be sent out to you really quickly so that next week, in fact, I'd love to know who wants to join me next week, next Sunday, to do the routine together. If enough of you guys want to know, I'll jump on here and we'll do a live and we can actually use it together. That would be so fun. I'd love to do this with you guys. So make sure you get it today so that you've got it by next week, and we'll go through it together. And I'd love to know what you're most excited to use it on. Are you more excited to use the red light or the blue light? And I just want to say thanks for watching today, and I'm so excited to see your before-after pictures. And Let's do that. In fact, I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to go into the group after this is done, and I'm going to post a before picture because I just barely was able to get my hands on this, too. So grateful for Swiss Botany for developing this technology along with the scientists that are putting it in the hands that I can afford, right? So I'm going to go ahead and take a before picture. I'm going to post it to this page. I'd love for you to do the same. And then each week we can post some of our pictures of our journey. I love it. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you soon.